Hi. Welcome to PH Red TV. In today's video we tackle an overview of cholera disease and its seven pandemics, but before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell icon to keep you updated on my future uploads. Though cholera has been around for many centuries, the disease came to prominence in the 19th century when a lethal outbreak occurred in India. There have since been numerous outbreaks and seven global pandemics of cholera. Each year, cholera infects 1.3 to 4 million people around the world, killing 21,000 to 143,000 people, according to the World Health Organization. What is cholera? Cholera is an infectious disease caused by a bacterium called Vibrio cholerae. The bacteria typically live in waters that are somewhat salty and warm, such as estuaries and waters along coastal areas. People contract B. cholerae after drinking liquids or eating foods contaminated bacteria, such as raw or undercooked shellfish. There are hundreds of strains or serogroups of the cholera bacteria. V. cholerae serogroups O1 and O139 are the only two strains of the bacteria known to cause outbreaks and epidemics. These strains produce the cholera toxin that cause cells lining the intestines to release increased amounts of water, leading to diarrhea and rapid loss of fluids and electrolytes or salts. About 80% of people who contract the bacteria don't develop cholera symptoms and the infection resolves on its own. And of the people who do develop cholera, 20% come down with severe symptoms, which includes severe diarrhea, vomiting, and leg cramps. These symptoms can cause dehydration, septic shock and even death within a matter of just a few hours. The Origins of Cholera It's unclear when, exactly, cholera first affected people. One of the first detailed accounts of a cholera epidemic comes from Gaspar Correa, a Portuguese historian and author of Legendary India, who described an outbreak in the spring of 1543 of a disease in the Ganges Delta, which is located in the South Asia area of Bangladesh and India. The local people called the disease Marixi, and it reportedly killed victims within eight hours of developing symptoms, and had a fatality rate so high that locals struggled to bury all the dead. Numerous reports of cholera manifestations along the west coast of India by Portuguese, Dutch, French and British observers followed throughout the next few centuries. The first cholera pandemic emerged out of the Ganges Delta with an outbreak in Jessore, India, in 1817, stemming from contaminated rice. The disease quickly spread throughout most of India, modern-day Myanmar, and Sri Lanka by traveling along trade routes established by Europeans. By 1820, cholera had spread to Thailand, Indonesia, killing 100,000 people on the island of Java alone, and the Philippines. From Thailand and Indonesia, the disease made its way to China in 1820 and Japan in 1822 by way of infected people on ships. It also spread beyond Asia. In 1821, British troops traveling from India to Oman brought cholera to Persian Gulf. The disease eventually made its way to European territory, reaching modern-day Turkey, Syria and southern Russia. The pandemic died out six years after it began, likely thanks to a severe winter in 1823-1824, which may have killed the bacteria living in water supplies. The second cholera pandemic began around 1829. Like the one that came before it, the second pandemic is thought to have originated in India and spread along trade military routes to Eastern, Central Asia and the Middle East. By autumn of 1830, cholera had made it to Moscow. The spread of the disease temporarily slowed during the winter, but picked up again in spring of 1831, reaching Finland and Poland. It then passed into Hungary and Germany. The disease subsequently spread throughout Europe, including reaching Great Britain for first time via Port of Sunderland in late 1831 and London in spring of 1832. Britain enacted several actions to help curb the spread of the disease, including implementing quarantines and establishing local boards of health. But the public became gripped with widespread fear of the disease and distrust of authority figures, most of all doctors. Unbalanced press reporting led people to think that more victims died in the hospital than their homes, and the public began to believe that victims taken to hospitals were killed by doctors. For anatomical dissection, an outcome they referred to as burking. This fear resulted in several cholera riots in Liverpool. In 1832, cholera had also made it to the Americas. In June of that year, Quebec saw 1,000 deaths from the disease, which quickly spread along the St. Lawrence River and its tributaries. Around the same time, cholera imported into the United States, appearing in New York and Philadelphia. 
over the next couple of years, it would spread across the country. It reached Latin America, including Mexico and Cuba, in 1833. The pandemic would die out and re-emerge throughout numerous countries. Between 1852 and 1923, the world would see four more cholera pandemics. The third pandemic, stretching 1852-1859, was the deadliest. It devastated Asia, Europe, North America and Africa, killing 23,000 people in Great Britain alone in 1854, the worst single year of cholera. During the fifth pandemic Great Britain and the United States were mostly safe. The sixth cholera pandemic, 1899-1923, largely didn't affect Western Europe and North America due to advances in public health and sanitation, thanks to improved water supplies and quarantine measures. But the disease still ravaged India, Russia, the Middle East and Northern Africa. By 1923, cholera cases had dissipated throughout much of the world, except India, it killed more than half a million people in India in both 1918 and 1919. The fourth and fifth cholera pandemics, occurring 1863-1875 and 1881-1896, respectively, were overall less severe than previous pandemics, but had their fair share of deadly outbreaks. Between 1872 and 1873, for example, Hungary suffered 190,000 deaths from cholera. And Hamburg lost nearly 1.5% of its population. Due to cholera in the 1892 outbreak, in 1883, German microbiologist Robert Koch, the founder of modern bacteriology, studied cholera in Egypt and Calcutta. He developed a technique allowing him to grow and describe B. cholerae, and then show that the presence of the bacterium in intestines causes cholera. However, Italian microbiologist Filippo Pacini had actually identified the cholera bacterium, naming it Cholerogenic Vibrios, in 1854 though this fact wasn't widely known and was likely unbeknownst to Koch. Unlike previous pandemics, which all originated in India, the seventh and current cholera pandemic began in Indonesia in 1961. It spread across Asia and the Middle East, reaching Africa in 1971. In 1990, more than 90% of all cholera cases reported to World Health Organization were from the African continent. Today cholera is an easily treatable disease. The majority of people can be treated successfully through prompt administration of oral rehydration solution or ORS. The WHO UNICEFOR's standard sachet is dissolved in one liter of clean water. Adult patients may require up to six liters of ORS to treat moderate dehydration on the first day. Severely dehydrated patients are at risk of shock and require the rapid administration of intravenous fluids. These patients are also given appropriate antibiotics to diminish duration of diarrhea, reduce volume of rehydration fluids needed, and shorten amount and duration of Vibrio cholerae excretion in their stool. Mass administration of antibiotics is not recommended as it has no proven effect on the spread of cholera. May contribute to antimicrobial resistance. Rapid access to treatment is essential during a cholera outbreak. Oral rehydration should be available in communities, in addition to larger treatment centers that can provide intravenous fluids. With early and proper treatment, the case fatality rate should remain below 1%. That's all for today, I hope you learned something new in today's topic. Thank you for stay tuning in, see you again soon here at PHRED TV.